Hi, today we're going to talk about your budget. I'm Deb Pervin and this is our Tuesday Tweak. Now, here is one of my favorite cartoons. As you can see, it says, I liked it better when you talk gobbledygook. And the guy presenting is showing a budget where they need to spend less and earn more. That's a pretty simplistic way of looking at a budget. And we're going to work on only three steps today in order to put your budget together. Now, putting a budget together is really important because it gives you an, a target. It gives you a way to evaluate. So I'm above target. What's going on? What if my assumptions have I exceeded? Or you're below target. What's going on? Why have I, where am I losing money off of my budget? So it gives you something to compare your year to. So, and as I said, I'm going to make it easy. Three steps. First is you have to look at your revenue and you have to decide I'm going to increase my revenue by X percent. I suggest somewhere in the 10 to 20 percent. We get above 20, you have to start looking at additional capital. 10 percent doesn't give you enough of an oomph to really in be inspired to think of new ways to grow your business. So say I'm going to grow at 15 percent. Then I want you to break down that number into what that means per month. Okay, so per month is that one new sale, 10 new sales, and is that possible? So here's an example from my golf course. I said in the assumptions, I'm gonna increase the price of my memberships and green fees by 10%. So that's an easy way to increase revenue is to increase your prices. The second one says that I'm gonna increase the number of golfers Greens fee golfers, 5%. So now I've increased golfers and I've increased my prices. So those are two easy ways. Now, can I increase by 5% the number of golfers? Well, that number is 30 per week. So 10 on Saturday, 10 on Sunday, and 10 for the rest of the week. And that was my goal. Now you see, writing it down is really important because as I said, when you compare year over year or month over month, you're going to want to know what your assumptions were. And finally, in looking at revenue, you should look at the trends, okay? Here's 16, 17, and 18, and I'm setting a budget. So you can see I could not grow at 50 or 40% every single year. Now I was ramping up the golf course, but by 18, I had a pretty steady revenue stream. So I couldn't grow that fast, so I had to be realistic in my budget. So when you're thinking about what revenue target to hit, Look at those trends across the last couple of years and pick something that's a little bit above what you think might be happening. It gives you a little incentive to push. The second thing you need to do is increase your fixed cost by 10%. And this is simple, 10% across the board. In the last 20 years or so, 10% is a number that has been increased, you know, your your phone costs went down, but your health care went up. Your rent has jumped a lot, but the last couple of years it was smaller. So on average, what we're seeing across the board is a 10% number is a good number to use year in and year out. And so here we are on the golf course again. What I show you is I broke out my revenue by revenue stream, and I broke out my expenses, my cost of goods by revenue stream, and I increased all of them across the board by 10%. The last thing, the third thing, is once you've set these numbers in motion, I want you to look at your margins. If you have a number or your revenue and your expenses, you should be increasing margins. And are you increasing margins on your, on your cost of goods? Are you increasing margins on your operating expenses, your fixed costs? Really understand where you're getting that margin improvement. So here we are, my year end. And this shows the revenue that you saw before obviously collapsed. The cost of goods collapsed. My, to my total sales, uh, general, and administrative costs collapsed. And my operating margin is predicted to go from 8.6 to 15.3. That's a pretty big jump. Now I might look at that and go, mm, I don't know. But remember, I increased prices. I increased numbers of people. So it's very likely that I can have that kind of jump because you see, historically, I've had that kind of jump. So three things, revenues, expenses, 
and then check your margins. Let me know if you have any questions on your budget. I recommend that you put one together and see how close you can be in shooting for those numbers next year. Give me a call if you have questions or I'd love to hear your success stories. I will see you next week.